What's happening everyone? It's uh, TM Baby Face Cycles back with another video. I had a shave and now I look about 12. Bad idea. Uh, today's topic of discussion is protein intake. I got a question from a subscriber called Benny the Banana. So this is for you mate. Um, he just said, I was just wondering, could you do one of these videos on protein requirements for natural bodybuilders? Particularly about the people that say 1.5 grams plus per pound of body weight leads to more muscle growth. Uh, now the research I've done is is not on pounds, it's on kilograms. Um, so if that confuses you, I do apologise. But a lot of it's done now on uh, sort of kilogram basis. The information that I've pulled are from two very well-known nutritionists in the industry. One being Brad Schoenfeld and the second one being Lyle McDonald. Um, it's not going to be a long video because it doesn't really need to be addressed thoroughly. But Brad Schoenfeld basically said... The most important fact, factor to take into consideration when doing protein requirement is whether you are on a calorie surplus or a calorie deficit. Um, a surplus basically means taking in more calories than you're expending, i.e. a bulk, and a calorie deficit is taking in less calor calories than you're expending, i.e. a cut. So it's a lot more vital and important when you are cutting weight, whether that be for a show or if you just want to get ripped for holiday, it's much more important to keep your protein intake a lot higher compared to a bulk. So needless to say that if you are bulking, it doesn't mean that you need to have like fuck all protein. You still need to have it relatively high, but just not as high as when you are cutting. The reason being you just want to preserve as much lean, as much muscle mass as possible when in that dieting phase for whatever um, event that's coming up. Um, Schoen Brad's, Schoenfeld's um, recommendations are between... 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight to 2 grams per kilogram of body weight. So if you are on the higher end, of, let's just take into consideration if you are on the higher end of the, uh, the spectrum, say you weighed 80 kilograms and you did 2 grams per kilogram of body weight, that would mean you meant to have 160 grams of protein a day, um, which is which is a fair fair amount. I would probably up it a little bit. Um, but Brad's, Brad's um, general consensus is 1.6 grams to 2 grams per kilogram of body weight. There are other factors that he goes through, if you wanted to know. Women are better able to preserve lean mass than us men. So if you're a woman watching this, congratulations. You are better able to preserve lean muscle mass than we are. And another one that is actually quite heavily studied is experience. So those that are more experienced in lifting in the gym you are better at utilising protein. So if you are uh, have been training for, I don't know, 10, 15 years, you are a lot better at utilising dietary protein than you are a beginner. So it's vital if you are just beginning lifting in the gym to um, to definitely have a highest protein intake. So Brad's is 1.6 to 2. What I'll do is I'll put a link to his to his website here if you want to sort of look at the studies, etc. Lyle McDonald's perspective on protein intake is a lot more different. He likes to go down the route of lean lean body mass. So he likes to calculate your body fat percentage and then find out your lean body mass and use your lean body mass as a way of calculating your um, your protein requirement. It's a little bit more tricky, a little bit more uh, sort of scientific to get into. But for example, his spectrum goes from 1.5 grams of, per kilogram of lean body mass to 3.3 grams per kilogram of lean body mass. The 1.5 grams he's referring to obese people and those that aren't training. So I don't think anyone's obese that's watching this. But if you are and you want to lose weight, uh, he's recommending here 1.5 grams per kilogram of lean body mass. I will put a link because it's quite difficult to explain. Um, but I'll put a link. It's a lot easier just to read on his website regarding this whole lean body mass thing. But the general consensus, in my opinion, is... It's very hard to give you a direct, you must have this, or everyone have this. Everyone differs. Everyone differs in terms of goals. Everyone differs in terms of weight. So it's hard to put a, a, sort of a na the, the nail on the head here and say to everyone you must have, I don't know, 1.8 grams per kilogram of body weight of protein. It all differs. The best thing to do, in my opinion, uh, Benny the Banana, would be to, to take into consideration your overall goal, whether that be bulking or cutting, Set yourself a sort of minimal target, so let's just say two. So for you, just stick at two grams per kilogram of body weight. 
see how see how you get on see if your weight fluctuates or whatever like that record the weight and see how you're feeling generally the, the, obviously the higher the protein uh, intake when you are on a cut the more fuller you're going to feel and things like that but it's very hard to to, to tell everyone you're meant to have a x amount of um or a certain amount of, of grams per kilogram so in my opinion uh, to wrap this up if you are unsure if you're watching this and you are unsure i would just go slap bang two grams per kilogram of body weight and see how you get on from there you can obviously record it for yourself if you feel that it's not enough up it slightly if it's too much drop it slightly so just go slap bang in the middle or two and see how you get on uh, those that are in a dieting phase that are getting closer to a competition that uh, number will gradually increase you've probably got a coach anyway for example my coach is up in my protein each week uh, the closer we get to the competition date really just to preserve as much muscle mass as possible so I hope that's cleared it up if you are still confused drop me an email and I'm more than happy just to sort of explain explain it through there um, but cheers for the question mate I hope that's, I hope that's answered it uh, comment I'd like be interested to see what other people see, uh, say regarding protein intake but um, yep, cheers for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back on the videos more and more now, I've got into a little routine. So brilliant, cheers for watching.